The Hindu, March 30, 2024. Hegemonic China asserts that Asia must prevent the world from becoming a theater for geopolitical conflict. At present, China's hegemonic ambitions pose the most significant global menace. Mr. Zhou, chairman of the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress NPC, delivered a speech during the inaugural session of the Boao Forum for Asia BFA, Annual Conference 2024. The BFA is a global organization comprising 29 member states many of which are Belt and Road Initiative BRI, leaders from nations like Sri Lanka. During the same session, Sri Lankan Prime Minister Dinesh Gunawardane stated that with China's assistance, Sri Lanka's port development has taken an advanced turn and will change the current situation. After discussions with his counterpart in Beijing, the Prime Minister of Sri Lanka announced the day before that China had promised to improve the island nation's crucial deep seaport and the airport in the capital according to AFP. The Port of Colombo will serve as the focal point of a newly developed port that will offer financial instruments capable of meeting the escalating needs for investment and development within our nations, which is vital. This will shift the current situation from East Asia to East Africa, and we eagerly anticipate the blue seas that may arise in the future due to a prosperous and remarkable joint program, Mr. Gunavar Dena stated on March 28. Hamban Toda a southern seaport of Sri Lanka, was leased to a Chinese state-owned enterprise for $1.12 billion over 99 years 2017. India and the United States are apprehensive that a Chinese naval presence at the port could increase that nation's maritime superiority in the Indian Ocean. Amidst repetitive communications from New Delhi, Colombo declared a one-year halt to entering foreign research vessels into Sri Lankan waters in December 2023. Follow one another. According to Mr. Zhou, Asia and nations have a commendable history of assisting one another during challenging periods, and they have successfully surmounted obstacle after obstacle in their quest for progress. China's leading legislator, Zhao Ji, stated on March 28 that all nations are welcome to board China's express train of development and that preventing the world from becoming a theater for geopolitical fighting is crucial, given that Asia has endured both hot and cold wars. At this time, when division and conflict are favored, it is critical that we maintain our independence, seek strength and unity, and continue to walk hand in hand. He stated, we ought to collectively denounce unilateralism and self-serving strategies, reject side-picking and block confrontation, and prevent this region and the world from transforming into arenas for geopolitical conflict. Mr. Zhao urged all nations to abandon the antiquated mentality of zero-sum games and alliance confrontation in favor of authentic multilateralism to construct an open global economy collectively. Trade protectionism and any method of constructing barriers, decoupling, or severing supply chains must be opposed, he proclaimed. According to Mr. Zhao, the people of Asia have endured both heated and cold wars, as well as adversity and trials, which have caused them to hold the value of peace in the highest regard. He also stated that China will facilitate foreign nationals' employment, study, and travel. The Belt and Road Initiative BFA, which ended on Friday, was organized in Hainan, China's sole tropical island province located in the South China Sea, near the Philippines. This occurred amid an ongoing dispute between the two nations.